Okay, so okay. it's good to go. Yeah, hi everyone. So we continue the second part of uh, chapter nine, which is uh, on plotting with uh, pandas and seaborn. So uh, basically both pandas uh, and, 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 and seaborn are like sort of built on top of, uh, of, of matplotlib, which is uh, uh, it's some kind of a very low level tool. Um, it usually assembly uh, a plot from the base components, uh, which uh, in pandas, um, we may have multiple rows of, of data along with rows and columns of labels. So pandas, pandas itself has built in uh, methods that simplify creating visualizations. Uh, so Seaborn is also another high level statistical graphics. So of, of course there are, there are other visualizations, but uh, the chapter basically focuses on matplotlib and some of the the, the extensions or some some of the, the the other libraries that are built on 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 matplotlib. So we will look at a number of uh, visualization or plotting um, 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 plotting plotting uh, options or types. So we work with the series uh, data as as usual, and then we could uh, plot um, we could we could fairly plot uh, line plots, which uh, if we call the the plot method the default is a line plot yeah which uh, is uh, something um, like this which which could be uh, useful if you want to visualize trends and and stuff like this yeah this could be it could be very useful when we want to visualize trends so it has the we could uh, set the index uh, as as false because it has the default is true so we could also set that to be to be false so we could also set the 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 the, the x ticks and the x limits uh, also for the, the same thing we can do for the y. Um, so the plot uh, the plot method or the plot argument has some of this uh, um, sort of this some of these attributes or some some of these uh, methods that we could add onto it to make some augmentations or adjustments and, and stuff like that. The level, the ax, uh, which is like the the the, the 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 plot object or the, sorry the subplot object object we could have the style the the alpha which will be the opacity we I think we have seen some of these uh, options also in the in previous methods so uh, data frames from plot methods uh, each of the columns has a different line on the same subplot so so we can see this so these are all columns. And then we have it automatically gets the legend for us at the extreme end, so as not to uh, mix up mix it up with the plot. So we could see each of these uh, are columns. So the the, the plot method uh, does this uh, automatically for us. So we could also uh, change this. So he this he's, he mentioned that he used the gray style because it's easier when you are working with uh, black and white when you are uh, printing in black and white. Then it's you could easily have a a, a, a clear idea of which 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 line is which yeah so uh, data, the data frame uh, has also a number of uh, uh, options also allowing for a lot of flexibility and so these are some of the data frame specific uh, um, options or arguments the subplot uh, argument the layout the share x share y and the legend yeah then uh, we move on to uh, a bar plot which is uh, we can we can do uh, a simple uh, bar plot, which is a normal bar plot, the the vertical bar plot when we just call the dot bar plot, or we could have the horizontal bar plot when we call call the dot bar h. Um, so this 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 methods or gives us the the horizontal bar plot, which is basically this, or the the uh, the, the the vertical sorry, and then this gives us the horizontal. Uh, bar plot. We could uh we could add some other um, arguments to the to the plot. So the bar plot by default it groups the the values in each row in bars side by side. So that is what it does by by default. So this is what it does. So these are all um the values of a uh, of a given row. So it sort of groups them all uh side by side so we could uh uh note that the name genius on the, the the data frame column is used in the legend yeah so that was the 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 legend okay. 
Okay, I was trying to. Yeah, so the bar plot uh, are effective for com comparing um, quantities across uh, different categories. Yeah. So, yeah, this was just trying to replicate some of these things. So we could add the, yeah. So basically, this is very clear. If you want to uh, compare the, the various categories, it's uh, it's very useful. It it's, uh, is a very useful visualization for that. So we could also stack the the bus instead of uh, plotting the rows uh, of the of each value side by side. We could just uh, uh, side by side for each particular category. We could just uh, stack them over each other, which we'll just have to set stack uh, equals to true, and then it does the the stacking. So this is a, a practical example of a of a restaurant stripping uh, data where we sort of we load it by calling the dot tree csv and so just by looking at the head we can see uh, an overview of the the data so we want to create like a, a frequency uh, of the counts and um, so we we see the frequencies we see that on uh, uh, the, we have the days on Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday the, the 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 frequencies of uh, the number of tips uh, that uh, it's given at a at a particular day. So since uh, we have less um, parties, so like the frequency of parties, since we have less parties on 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 um, less parties on six and uh, one and six person parties are very few. We could just re remove them. So that was what he did here and then he calculates the, the percentage of uh of parties um yeah he calculates the the percentage of of uh sorry Yes. Yeah, so, so basically, this gives us the the percentage of uh, of uh, uh, of the of of parties, and then we could uh, plot the the bar by stacking it over. We could see uh, that uh, uh, the frequency of parties is higher during 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 weekends. So uh, we could uh, we could uh, clearly see that from this. So um, uh, bar plots are use very useful for visualizations like this. So 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 he's uh, saying that with this type of uh, visualization or this type of data, a data that requires aggregation or summarization before making a plot, using the Seaborn package can make things uh, much simpler. So we can just install the the Seaborn and. Uh, um, it's easier if we use the 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 C one for uh, for such cases. So now, if we import uh, the C one, we could just make it very straightforward to get the percentages quite uh, straightforward, and uh, we could plot the the bar plot, and we could also have the confidence. So these lines are the the, the ninety five percent confidence intervals. So the C one has a a a whole a, a whole option, which enables us to split the uh, uh, to split uh, sort of our 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 bars into sort of different categories, which helps to sort of have a even a, a much more broader view of, of of the data so we could so here when we set it to time it will uh, when we search this uh, option to time it uh, sort of um, gets the breaks the the, the the bus into additional times it gives us whether it's it was a lunch time or, or, or a dinner time which uh, gives us more um, idea about the data and 
helps us further understand the, the data. So this is pretty straightforward uh, with uh, Seaborn. We could also uh, set the, 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 the style of the grid by using the dot uh, set style method. And then we could either, we could also uh, set the, 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 the palette by the, the color palette by using the set palette uh, option. So these are all uh, options we could uh, possibly use. So uh, we could also use histograms and, and density plots. Uh, so sort of a, a histogram is a kind of a bar plot that gives a, uh, it's sort of a discretized uh, display of a frequency. So it, 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 it helps us to understand the distribution of the, uh, the various frequencies uh, sort of we have in the, in the data. So we can use the method, the plot.hist uh, method. And once we call it, we can specify the beams. And then we, we could see, it, it gives us, we can, with this, we can even see the, even the outlayers in the, in the data. You could, you could see them using this. Also related to the, the, the this uh, plot type is a density plot, uh, which is formed by computing uh, an estimate of a, of a continuous, uh, uh, probability distribution that might have that that might have generated the the, the observed data. So it's uh, some kind of a uh, uh, some kind of a uh, a kernel uh, density estimation. So we could use the plot dot uh, density method to 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 get this uh, density plots. Uh, an example of the density plot will look like this. When we just get the call the uh, the the dot the plot dot density method, we have uh, something like this. So so this type of plots will require the the scipy. Um, so we could uh, install that. Pretty pretty much straightforward using the 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 conda install. Yeah, uh, in uh, Seaborn uh, um, also makes uh, histograms and density plots even easier through. Uh, it's a histoplot method, which can plot about uh, histograms and continuous density estimates. So these are, as an example, we just use uh, the uh, uh, generated some uh, um, random um, distributions, one and two, and then get the call the pandas uh, series and concatenate these two, and then call the 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 uh, the seaborn dot uh, histo plot method and sort of set the beams and the color so we could see the two uh, we could see the the, the two this uh, distributions and uh, sort of this uh, histo dot uh, histo plot uh, helps us see both distributions in the same uh, graph and it's easily straightforward to make comparisons between this between these two uh, plots. So there is also the, the, the scatter plot uh, or point plots methods, which uh, could be a useful way to uh, uh, examine the relationship between uh, two or between two one dimensional uh, data series. So an example would be to look at this. Uh, he used the, the macro data uh, set. Uh, so the, so when we load the macro data set, which is a CSV, we call the dot read CSV uh, method. And then we get these variables from the macro, the CPI, the, the M1, the, the T bills, and the, the unemployment rate. And then we do some, we, we sort of take the log difference of this uh, uh, data. Sort of maybe, could, yeah, we talk to like log, log difference and drop NS. Then we get the last entries of the data. We could see how it looks like. So we can use uh, the Seaborn reg plot method, which uh, which makes a scatter plot and fits a regression line, which uh, could be sort of uh, a useful way to uh, visualize the relationship between two two variables. So when we use this, when we get uh, the 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 C1 dot reg plot, which we call the dot reg plot method. So we want to see the relationship between the, 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 the money supply and, and unemployment for this uh, particular data set. And the title, we could uh, call it changes in the uh, uh, money supply versus uh, uh, employment, log, log, log of M1 and log of uh, employment. 
so we could see the the the, the relationship um so this type of uh, plots could be very useful especially when we are doing some um, economic analysis this this type of plots could it could be very useful even before doing any modeling we have an idea of the data the relationship between uh, the the key variables and this is quite straightforward and with with seaborn he he's arguing that this is quite straightforward you could you could easily do it compared to if you want to do it uh, in matplotlib it might uh, uh, require us to write a lot of a lot of code which might be uh, tedious also in uh, also he mentioned that it's helpful to be able to look uh, at all the scatter plots among a group of variables. This is known as, as pair plots or scatter plot metrics. So this, this could be very useful, especially when you are working with a data that has a lot of categorical variables. You might want to uh, get a pair plot or a scatter plot metrics. So making such plots from scratch is a bit of work, especially if you want to do it from scratch in, uh, in matplotlib. So um, this could be easily done by calling the pair plot. So when I was reading this, I was like, oh, okay, I have to, because I there is this data I'm working on and, and it working with, and it has a lot of categorical variables. So when I saw this uh, pair plot method, I was like, oh, maybe maybe I'll have to try and experiment this uh, on my on my data, because I, I found it quite handy. So we just have to call the pair plot method, which is uh, built in, uh, which is uh, from one of these methods in Seaborn. And that the data we are working with is uh, trans uh, data. The type of uh, diagram we want is a sort of a kernel density estimate, and the the plot opacity we we said that like alpha equals to blah blah blah. And we could see this uh, sort of gives us uh, a clear overview of the 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 sort of the the, the variables. And, and and also it, it gives us the, the kernel density estimates and it gives us also some um, scatter plots and which uh, sort of gives us a fairly good uh, idea about the, the, the plot we are interested in. So we look at uh, the facets and uh, categorical data, which which I think is also very similar to, so most of these things are also similar uh, in R. So the facets and the categorical uh, data. So what about data sets where we have additional grouping dimensions? So one way to visualize data with uh, many categorical variables is to use a facet grid, which is a two dimensional layout of plots where the data is split across the plots on each uh, axis based on the distinct values of certain variables. So C1 has uh, a very useful built-in uh, which is called the CAD plot um, uh, method. Sort of it simpl simplifies uh, making many kinds of facet plots uh, split by uh, categorical variables. So this, this is also something handy if we are working with categorical variables. So when we go back to the tip uh, data set that we have seen previously, so when we call the the the, the Seaborn, the dot cat plot, so it takes in the, the, the X, which is the, of course, the, the X axis, the the, the 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 x axis which which here in this case we we take the day and then the y the tip the percentage and this uh, whole method the the high uh, the high method we set it to time then this will help us to see whether it was a lunch time or a dinner the the column um, which is like uh, whether the person that this particular person smokes or uh, or not so it, it it gets this to a kind of a dummy variable when the guy smokes, we have no no smoke and yes smoke, and and we could see how it's uh, the visualization. It's 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 very smooth and it's sort of very straightforward. And we could see we could easily compare between uh, smokers and non-smokers, and it's pretty uh, straightforward using the 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 Seaborn uh, the dot cat plot uh, method. So instead of also grouping by time. We can also expand the, the facet grid by adding one row per time. So when we add this uh, uh, row is equal to time, sort of we say one row per time, we could see the the, the details of uh, like just uh, one row and, and sort of it breaks the, the, the data even into more granular level to help us understand uh, into details.
So the, 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 card, the card plot also supports uh, many other types, which uh, it also supports like uh, box plots, which could be very useful to see, to have an over, over, a general summary statistics because it, it gives us the mean, it gives us the median, the quartiles, and, and also outliers. So we could also plot uh, box plots using this uh, card plot method. Yeah, and uh, like if you have anything to add on to these methods, uh, feel free to 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 comment. Uh, well, actually, this is a kind of like a very straightforward because uh, yeah. Seaborn is uh, more like a ggplot two packages in R, so yeah. actually, it is a mostly kind of a function that are very similar similar to the ggplot package in R, so. And also most of the grammar and then uh, like a uh, facet, faceting yeah. the grid and then uh, try to make a histogram is almost the uh, same. So yeah, so yeah, it's a very straightforward and then yeah. Python yeah, at the end also, he, yeah. he mentioned that we could, uh, this are also interesting uh, uh, plotting uh, visualization uh, libraries that we might want to look at, especially if we're interested in interactive uh, dynamic uh, graphs, we might want to look at the this uh, Altias, the Bokeh, and the Plotly. These are also interesting uh, visualization um, libraries in Python that we might be interested. Yeah, actually, yeah. Plotly, Plotly is uh, also available in R, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah Plotly is uh, kind of a both Python and R packages. They are yeah. they both pro uh, they providing the packages for both Python and R, and then the Plotly is a quite good interactive uh data visualization tool. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think that's it. That's 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 the end of the chapter. If you if you have something, he is yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, he also recommends this book on data violation is the fundamentals of data violation by Klaus. So, you know, 